This video is a brief overview of the definition and treatment of problematic sexual behavior in children and adolescents. Problematic sexual behaviors are behaviors that are developmentally inappropriate, involve sexual body parts, and may be harmful to the self or others. These behaviors must be performed by children and adolescents aged 12 years or younger and must fall outside of acceptable societal limits. Common behaviors that can be seen are trying to have sexual intercourse, putting their mouth on sexual body parts of others, asking others to engage in sexual acts, and inserting an object or finger into the rectum or vagina. A behavior can be determined as problematic sexual behavior if it is rare for the child's developmental stage and culture, frequent and has become a preoccupation, continues after normal correction from an adult, performed by using force, intimidation, or coercion on other children, causes emotional stress or physical injury to other children, or interferes with the child's social development. While many children with problematic sexual behaviors have experienced a history of sexual abuse, it is also important to consider a variety of other etiological factors, such as maltreatment, substandard parenting practices, modeling of coercive behaviors at home, and families with poor family boundaries, including exposure to nudity, highly sexualized environment, parental sexual activity, or pornography. As a general principle, current and recent factors maintaining problematic sexual behaviors, both environmental and emotional, may be more salient than long past or distal factors. The, there is a common presumption that assessment must identify a specific origin and that finding the root cause is vital for treatment. Although understanding the original causes and the ultimate etiology of the behavior may be informative, Assessment-driven recommendations ought to focus more on what current factors are maintaining the behavior, what current factors are restraining the behavior, and what future maintaining or restraining factors may arise. Now let's discuss the treatment package for CBT for problematic sexual behavior. PSB-CBT is typically a group-based treatment with a child or adolescent group and a corresponding parent and caregiver group that meets after. Child and adolescent groups are split up by age as variations in developmental level require different age groups learn different material. For example, a preschool group may have sexual behavior rules focused on touching or looking at private parts, while an adolescent group may have a rule over use of sexual language. PSBCBT is a highly structured treatment utilizing a teaching learning model. This style of teaching mimics what children and adolescents are used to doing in the classroom and allows participants plenty of opportunity to practice the material being taught. Treatment addresses a wide range of problematic and illegal youth sexual behaviors. It teaches children the rules of sexual behavior, boundary setting, emotion regulation, impulse control, and problem solving skills. For parents and caregivers, their treatment group focuses on child sexual development, improving supervision of their child or adolescent, implementing and enforcing rules, and improving communication between child and caregiver.